So now we are discussing about the how to diagnose the malaria. Diagnosis of malaria. Okay. Uh, so if a patient present from a malarious area, malarious area, so then thick and thin film must be prepared. Thick and thin film, thick and thin smear should be prepared and if it is negative and if it is negative when examined by a when examined by experienced microbiologist microbiologist experienced by experienced examined by experienced microscopist okay then does not have malaria we can presume that the patient does not have malaria okay so first is the thick film and the thin film okay thick film while preparing the thick film it should be blood should be uneven in thickness first is uneven in thickness while preparing the thick film the blood uh, the blood should be uneven in thickness but thin enough but thin enough that the hands of the watch can be read through the part of the sport okay and it should be stain stain dried but it should not be fixed unfixed unfixed okay it should be unfixed stain dried but unfixed with gym size stain field stain or another Ruanski stains okay and we should count the asexual parasites asexual parasites per 200 wbc okay in uh, thick film we count uh, according to wbc wbc and gametocytes should be uh, gametocytes should be counted separately gametocytes should be counted separately okay whereas in the thin film thin film the uh, uh, the blood the blood film should, should be fixed should be fixed okay uh, this uh, the unfixed in thick film but it should be fixed in the case of thin film okay and here in case of thin film we count the asexual parasites per thousand w rbc okay in case of thin film we count according to rbc but in case of thick film we count according to wbc and in case of thin film uh, we can also see the parasite development stage okay parasite developmental stage we can also see the parasite development stage we can also count the neutrophils count the neutrophils containing the malarial pigment count the neutrophils containing malarial pigment okay and in this case also gametocytes should be counted separately gametocytes should be counted separately okay what is the advantage of the thick film thick film it is sensitive it is species specific it is inexpensive okay what are the disadvantage requires experience okay requires experience what are the advantage of the thin film it is also rapid species specific and inexpensive and in severe malaria it can also provide the prognostic information okay why because we have already discussed that the prognosis prognosis uh, prognosis depends upon the level of level of parasitemia second neutrophil containing a malaria pigments how many neutro uh, how how much percentage of neutrophils contain the malaria pigments hmm? these are important in the prognosis so uh, through the thin film we can also it also helps in the case of prognosis prognosis okay okay uh, third method is a plasmodium falciparum hysterin rich protein to deep stick test deep stick test or card test we have to remember that the plasmodium falciparum it is plasmodium falciparum hysterium is uh, protein 2 that means it is present only in the plasmodium falciparum okay 
so it can uh, detect only plasmodium falciparum it can detect only plasmodium falciparum okay uh, wh what should we do a drop of blood drop of blood is taken okay drop of blood is taken and it is placed on the stick of the card stick or card it is placed in stick or card and it is then immersed in immersed in washing solution immersed in washing solution okay then there will be the appearance of the colored band colored band one color band one color band it is very important monoclonal antibody monoclonal antibody capture monoclonal antibody capture uh, and it appears as one color band okay plasmodium falciparum which is in this protein to dipstick say test what are the advantage it is a uh, rapid sensitive okay and it can detect the plasmodium falciparum however it cannot detect the level of parasitemia okay it is only qualitative it is not not quantitative not quantitative okay it is not quantitative okay fourth is the plasmodium plasmodium lactate dehydrogenase dipstick test dipstick or card test we have to remember that the plasmodium falciparum is student is put into hrp2 is present in only in the plasmodium falciparum whereas the lds lactate dehydrogenase is present in all the plasmodium in all the plasmodium species okay in this also we take a drop of blood drop of blood which is placed in the stick of the card stick of the card and it is immersed in the washing solution immersed in the washing solution it is also a monoclonal antibody test monoclonal antibody test but what is the difference with the estrogen is put into uh, srp2 only one colored band is present in case of lactate dehydrogenase dipstick test two colored band are present two colored bands are present okay uh one band is is genus species genus is specific that is for all the malaria okay and another band is other band is for falciparum plasmodium falciparum okay what is the advantage it is also rapid uh sensitive but what is the disadvantage what is the disadvantage it it is also a qualitative test not a quantitative test Okay, so it cannot quantitate the uh, level of parasitemia. Parasitemia. Okay. Fifth is the micro tube micro tube concentration micro tube concentration method micro tube concentration methods with exceeding orange exceeding orange staining orange staining. Okay. What do we do in this blood is uh, pour, uh, collected in a specialized tube. Okay, it is collected in a specialized tube, and it contains the acridin orange, acridin orange, anticoagulant, anticoagulant, and a fluid, and a fluid. Then centrifugation is done. Centrifugation is done. It will concentrate the parasite. Okay. And fluorescent microscopy is performed. Fluorescent microscopy is performed. Fluorescent microscopy performed. It is also sensitive. It is also uh, it is also sensitive or uh, similar or superior to that of the thick film. Ideal for it is ideal for processing of processing of large samples large samples rapidly okay large samples can be rapidly processed but what is the disadvantage it also qualitative test and it cannot quantitate it cannot quantitate first it cannot quantitate and second it also it requires the fluorescence fluorescence microscopy it requires the fluorescence microscopy okay We can also find the rapid diagnostic test RDT rapid diagnostic test okay but it is also rapid and simple rapid and simple but it is less sensitive it is less sensitive less sensitive 
and it can uh, give false positive false positive in case of rf when the rf factor is positive rf factor is positive it can give the false positive results pci is highly sensitive pci is highly sensitive and we use the uh, pbr pbr k1 primer in uh, the pci but it is not used uh, it is not used uh, in general practice it is only used for epidemiological purposes epidemiological purposes okay and other serology other serology like elisa and immunofluorescent uh, they are also used for screening purposes but they cannot be used for not for diagnosis not for diagnosis okay we have already discussed the uh, relationship between the parasite density parasite density and the parasite density and the prognosis yeah yes in uh, if the level of parasite may is greater than 100000 then there is increased mortality increased mortality and if the level of parasite may is greater than 500000 then there is high mortality okay and if uh, if uh, the parasite 20 percent of parasites 20 percent of parasites identified as identified as color pigment uh, pigment containing pigment containing trophozoids and cytoids trophozoids and cytoids then it also carries the poor prognosis or greater than five percent of neutrophils neutrophils contain visible molecular pigment <coughs> then it also carries the poor prognosis okay uh, the gametocyto uh, gametocytemia that means the level of gametocyte peaks one week after the asexual parasite density that means when the asexual parasite density peaks the level of parasitomy peaks after one week the gametocytes level are also increase but uh, all the anti malaria drugs we use all the anti malaria drugs we use do not affect do not affect gametocytes so even after the successful treatment with the anti drugs, the gametocytes may be present. The gametocytes may be present in the circulation. But they are persistent. So, they are persistent. So, their persistence does not constitute, does not constitute that evidence of drug resistance. That means, even though they are present, gametocytes are present it does not imply that uh, there is drug resistance or the we need or there is need for retreatment okay sometimes the molecular pigments the phagocytocytes may become visible for weeks okay molecular pigments molecular pigments in phagocytocyte phagocytose uh, cells may become visible for weeks ok so the mature gametocytes may be present the, mol the molecular pigments may be present but they do not imply that uh, we need to retreat the patient or there is any kind of drug resistance ok